Hi, and welcome to our new tutorial. Today we will be having a look at how to configure UAC, User Account Control, with the help of Microsoft Intune. We will show you step by step how you can configure the settings and what each setting will do. If you want to read about the deployment, you can also check the blog post. There you will find more information and you can copy, for example, commands directly from that website. You also find the latest blog post from us with helpful information. The website is in the description. But now let's start with Configure UAC. User Account Control UAC is a security feature introduced by Microsoft in Windows operating systems, starting with Windows Vista and continuing in subsequent versions, including almost all Windows versions. Its primary purpose is to enhance the security of the operating system by preventing unauthorized changes to your computer. UAC works by prompting users for confirmation whenever a task or application requires administrative privileges to run. These tasks could include installing software, making changes to system settings, or modifying files in certain protected directories. So you can, for example, configure UAC to block all administrative confirmation prompts. So if you try to do some administrative tasks, you will see a big blue blocked by administrator sign. Let's start with configuring user account control settings. First, open a browser and navigate to the Intune portal. Log in with your administrator account. On here, click on Devices, Windows, and Configuration Profiles. Create a new configuration profile. For platform, choose Windows 10 and later, and for profile type, choose Settings Catalog. Give it a name. Click on Next. Click on Add Settings. Search for User Account Control. Click on Local Policies Security Options. Here you will find all user account control settings you can configure. You might have some requirements for your organization. I have a detailed list on my blog post where I described all settings. If you want to know what each setting will do, just check the blog post in the description. I will just configure the best practices for now. If you are finished with the settings, click on Next. Assign a scope if required, and click on Next. Assign the policy to a group or all users slash all devices. Check the configuration and click on Create. The configuration will now be created. This can take some time. When the policy is created, I will show you on my end device how this policy affects the device. This is an Intune Join device. The user access control configuration is assigned to this device. I will now show you what happens if I want to do some administrative tasks. You see, there is no pop-up for admin authentication. Now, let's check if I can open the command prompt with admin rights. I can open it normally but let's check if I can open it with admin rights. Perfect, looks like the configuration is working. Last, I wanna check if I can install a new application. I will download the Adobe Reader DC application and try to run it. Same here.
Thanks for watching this tutorial. We hope you found this guide useful and easy to follow. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to leave a comment below or visit our blog post in the description. See you soon.